everyone, welcome back to the Web3 channel. My name is Zach. In this video, we are looking at the Origin Protocol. I'm looking at this straight after recording a video, sort of going over Paris Hilton and her recent approach when it comes to the NFT in mainstream media on the, of course, Jimmy Fallon Tonight Show. This video, we're going to be going straight into the Origin Protocol, which is, I believe, the blockchain that Hilton has chosen to put her, I think it was Super Plastic NFTs on. That being said, we're going to go straight into it. We're going to have a look at the website right now. Let's go through it so if we go through it from here here we go okay so here's the home page right we're going to watch the video soon but first of all origin protocol is bringing nfts and DeFi to the masses origin is a fully distributed team our 800 plus investors include top venture capitalists and cryptocurrency funds all over the world ogn are held by over 37,000 token holders and then this seems to be the team at hand so let's go through this first of all we're looking at lower fees centralized platforms for music and art often charge incredibly high fees leaving the creators with a small fraction of the value generated and causing consumers to overpay for goods and so and experiences traditional payment processors also charge significant fees decentralized commerce commerce sorry reduces the power of middlemen and their ability to charge egregious fees both buyers and sellers can share in the savings with OUSD origin provides an alternative to high cost payment rails ordinary people and businesses so essentially what we're looking at here really is more to do with web 2 rather than general you know web 3 um, services better incentives centralized platforms and financial institutions often have an antagonistic relationship with their customers fees are necessary to make these companies successful this creates a perverse relationship again we're going over the web 2 stuff but we'll continue in contrast, Origin enables everyone to own a piece of network. Fans and collectors can have a direct stake in the success of their favorite community with NFTs. Yield generated by OUSD is distributed fairly to all holders. Holders of Origin tokens can participate in governance to decide the future rules and direction of the network and also have a stake in, it in the success of Origin's projects. When everyone owns a piece of the network, everyone is intensified, of course, to help it grow and succeed. Okay, looking at increased access, 2 billion people around the world are currently unbanked. They do not have checking accounts, credit cards, Alipay or Apple Pay. With the advent of cryptocurrencies and the proliferation of inexpensive smartphones, now is the time to enable the unbanked to participate in decentralized commerce and finance. Anyone with a crypto wallet can participate in the NFT economy. Users from all over the world are now able to access a stable currency with superior yields in OUSD. Looking at resilience, decentralized marketplaces promote open and free commerce like, uh, like central Again, we're going back to really the difference between Web 2 and Web 3 to many extents. Uh, I don't think this is necessarily, uh, this isn't specifically to Origin Protocol. It's just going over the advantages, right? That being said, let's have a listen or a watch of what I believe, I assume, the founders are talking about with this protocol. YouTube was the first company, first attempt at using the internet as the distribution platform for videos. When we started getting larger and we started getting over 20 engineers, over five designers, and where we really needed to scale out the product, we realized that we do need to bring in a product manager. And that was when Matt entered the story. He was the first product manager working with the cluster of very high quality engineers that we had at YouTube. YouTube continued to grow. And so was... let's just make it very clear because I'm going to go over really quickly if we can 32 seconds in. I just want to make sure we're aware of who this man is. So this man, I believe that's not Matthew Liu because it says here Matt was the third PM at YouTube acquired by Google and VP. So definitely some really interesting talent here. But I do wonder, uh, is it it might be Yupan? I think it's potentially Yupan was one of the six founding team members of PayPal and the first employee at YouTube. He is a former Google employee and co-founder of Kiwi Create. So some interesting names here, right? But let's just continue to the video. YouTube was, you know, was the first product manager work was assimilating engineering and staffing and you know uh, other product managers other project managers from the Google headquarters into YouTube itself and he played a critical role in that transition period one of the first engineers at YouTube was UPAN and uh, this was before we closed our first round of funding with Sequoia Capital he was the okay. person to create probably was the most important part of YouTube Anything from the, uh, the creation of the, the video player itself uh, on YouTube to any of the uh, subsequent um, feature improvements. Almost more importantly, being able to embed that video onto other sites like uh, MySpace at the time, Craigslist, and eBay at the time. So it was no longer just on YouTube.com, but it kind of virally spread because users 
themselves wanted to be able to see their videos on their own personal websites. I first worked with Frank uh, in 2004 at PayPal. He was early to join at YouTube. And on Monday morning, we said, Frank, by the end of Friday, you're to learn Mac OS X, you're to learn MySQL, the schemas for what we use in our database, the Python, the entire application layer, pretty much everything. At the time that he joined YouTube, you're supposed to learn all this and you're supposed to write your own first feature. And every single hire after Frank, we would use him as an example to say, this is what you have to do and it's not, it has been done before. And that, that gentleman over there, Frank, was the first one to do it. Okay, so, so we're getting a good idea of who the team is and essentially they seem to be exceptional people at what they do, some of the best in the world, let's be very clear. So we're looking here at Josh started coding at the age of 10 prior to origin, he co-founded three other venture-backed companies, Eventview, Torbit and Farage, of course Torbit acquired by Walmart. We also have Frank right here who we spoke about, we have Mika Alcorn who was a technical co-founder of a of well attended, uh, well attended a bootstrapped box office management platform. He worked as a commercial real estate broker. Then we have KU, uh, a, a CPA. She pr pr uh, previously worked as a senior consultant and senior accountant at KPMG, and a list of other you know important and 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 smart people essentially. So very interesting to see. Now I want to have a look at the about part of origin and see exactly what their plan is right here so we actually see it's time to bring crypto to mainstream so is this okay so it seems like we actually have a a proper video here uh, that might give us some insight thank you so much for being on the show thank you for having us origin tell us exactly what it is you're helping build decentralized marketplaces um take it away what does that mean yeah so we're trying to build a platform that will enable many different decentralized marketplaces uh, hopefully all over the world uh, and so when we're talking about marketplaces, we're talking about these two-sided internet websites or mobile applications that pair buyers and sellers today. So these digital meeting grounds. Uh, in the future, we would like to enable the decentralized versions of Uber, of Airbnb, of Craigslist, of any other type of marketplace uh, where these peer-to-peer -peer transactions should be happening. But right now, they're actually peer to a corporate monopoly such as Uber <laughs> uh, to that peer. Josh, I use yeah. Airbnb, I use Uber. They're pretty good products, yeah. you know. So what we're well. seeing right here is definitely, as I say, it's going into the mainstream because anyone who is interested in Web3 is already aware of this business model. So let's have a look if they have anything regarding a white paper or is this, okay, so this is the general about section. So we can obviously look into this, but I think what I would prefer to do is sort of understand the nitty gritty parts and maybe we're just not quite there yet. I'll have a quick look at the products so we can see, read our new light paper. We have NFT Launchpad, Director Fan Experience, customizable and hosted on your own domain, maintain control of your brand, product features, a unique action, auction, mechanics to maximize revenue, secondary marketplace launching soon, best in class uptime and scaling, supports both credit cards and cryptocurrency. So let's have a look at what you can do here so you can run an NFT sale the original dollar the first stable coin that earns a yield whilst it's still in your wallet then they have the OGN the origin token it's an incentive token that ensures the health and growth of the network so let's have a look at the new light paper and see what this says uh, bringing nfts and decentralized finance to the masses so we have here an executive summary but this itself is clearly quite long let's go through the executive summary though i think that is fair to do so let's go through that. Origin's mission is to bring NFTs and DeFi to the masses. After three years of building consumer-friendly products in the blockchain space, we've learned many valuable lessons. The first significant wave of decentralized commerce applications will, that will be those seeking experiences or product that they cannot get from centralized alternatives. Many of these early users will be creative but crypto native. The most prominent product category to emerge is the NFT space, of course. NFT do not near, merely represent digital collectibles, but can create entire new experiences for creators and communities. NFTs can function as digital collectibles. I think, again, a lot of the stuff we are already aware of, but I guess that is why it's an executive summary. The OGN, i.e. the token, is the governance and value accrual or token for the entire original platform and suite of products. OGN token holders will be able to create and vote on proposals to govern the underlying protocol. OGN holders also directly benefit from the success of the original platform and products built on top of it. Revenues generally generated accrue directly to OGN via several economic models, which can be changed in the future through the governance process. 
this is probably quite bad but i'm going to go through the conclusion with a renewed focus and mission to bring peer-to-peer -peer commerce with nfts and DeFi to the masses we believe we are better positioned than ever before to unlock multiple billion dollar opportunities for the mainstream while we are st starting with users that already have basic understanding of crypto that already number in mass masses sorry millions we will aggressively begin targeting mainstream users this year in the next several years our products will cross the chasm and our ambitions are to amass hundreds of millions of users using original products backed by our underlying protocols what are my thoughts on this and again nothing on this channel is to ever be considered financial advice do your own research but just my personal opinion right now is a lot of what i'm seeing is very similar to other protocols other blockchains that i'm seeing but that's not a bad thing it just means that we're still so early that we will continue to see more of these pop up as far as new awesome projects popping up because this is not a zero-sum game we will see many amazing projects happen here and it's just about sort of being aware of them and seeing what's happening and of course on the web channel i'll be covering everything happening that you need to know when it comes to this to help you in doing your own research of course like i say nothing on this channel is financial advice and you should always do your own research amongst every channel amongst every possible avenue of information but this is just one channel that you can use to hopefully give you some level of understanding of roughly what might be out there for you to make then therefore your own decision and we'll look through the original territory and the original dollar and the nft launch pad and everything else happening in this space very very soon with that being said this is already 11 minutes so i want to keep it short so if this video was interesting or helpful to you in any way shape or form or like as always much appreciated make sure to subscribe to web3 for everything happening in the crypto nft and metaverse new space have a great day everyone i'll see you in the next web3 video